You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Vintage Collection figure review. We're looking at VC-334. It is the one and only Darth Vader. This could very well end up being the the goat of all Vaders. I've been pretty uh, pretty pumped on Darth Vader lately uh, with the VC releases. Hasbro has absolutely been nailed, nailing them. And um, yeah, we've had the Return of the Jedi one last year and the sort of the Broken Mask Obi-Wan and the Dark Times from Obi-Wan. And uh, this time we're revisiting A New Hope or Star Wars for you guys playing at home. Looks pretty nice on the card. Looks nice. We have seen this card back used in the Vintage Collection already. Uh, this is just another variation of it. The new figure, VC-334. I can't remember the number for the original New Hope one, but this was going back to going back 10 years, probably. <laughs> if not, a little bit more than that. So Darth Vader, there's a picture of the figure. May end up doing a little comparison to some others. We'll see. See how I go when I bust this one open. So let's do exactly that and take a look at Darth Vader. All right, folks, here is Darth Vader out of the packaging. I must say, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's almost a... You know, it's almost exactly the same as the Dark Times, with a few little subtle differences that we will go over. Um, one thing I've sort of taken note of straight away is the sort of the reflective sort of nature of the, at least the helmet and uh, the chest, and the sort of ch chest armor there. It's got a lot more shine to it than uh, than the previous versions, which you know I'm not objecting to. Um, the uh, the red eyes, you know, sort of tinted lenses of his eyes is definitely a standout for this figure too. But firstly, we'll get a look at the accessories. Um, obviously, he's got his lightsaber, which, you know, is the same as all the other recent releases. Almost got a, almost got an orange tinge to it. It's very, sort of, got a very Power of the Force vibe to it. Um, because <laughs> a lot of those lightsabers were a lot more, they weren't as clear red as some of the new ones. And these ones are sort of almost going back to that almost orange orangey hued look you know in person it looks red it's fine there's no no dramas there uh, we do have his lightsaber hilt which does have a teeny tiny little peggy on it and that will peg onto the side of his belt right there this comes with two hands two interchangeable hands we have the fist which came with the the dark times vader which was honestly one of the uh, highlights which is something that really, truly made that figure great, was the extra hands. And this time we're getting a different right hand. He's got a little bit of a point to it. I don't know whether that was the same. It was slightly different. The other one had a little bit more curl to his finger, whereas this one sort of pointing, you know, as he does a little bit in A New Hope. He does the point. He likes to point at people when he's angry. He wants to share that aggression through pointing so yeah they look good onto the figure let's take, take a look so yeah it's it, vaders are always a little bit tricky to review based solely on the you know it's so much black um and yeah this one particularly because of the reflective nature of it but that's not a bad thing i mean it's it looks good i'd i'd dig this figure the soft goods you know it's it's a nice it's a nice fabric it's got a little bit of a little bit of pizzazz to it a little bit of flair same with the cape so when you look at him on the card if you go back to the start of the video look at him on the card you could almost doesn't look like the capes on there the way it's sort of folded up and put in the packaging it's uh yeah really well disguised um but yeah, like I said, in comparison to the Dark Times one, the one, one sort of subtle difference is, is the sort of the shoulder armor, this sort of front piece, because it is sort of connected at the top of the shoulder there. Focus. Yeah, this sort of shoulder armor piece, which is connected through the front, 
and then sort of comes down with the sort of soft goods, implied soft goods, because in A New Hope, Darth Vader decided he'd wear the robes over the top of the armour, and then every other time it was uh, underneath. So for whatever reason, during production, Empire Strikes Back, they decided, no, let's go under. And uh, yeah, it's almost become, you know, it's his signature New Hope look. It's like, no, I'm going to put my underpants on the outside today. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the main difference. We've seen so many different Vaders attempt different versions of this with soft goods going over the top, um, different, different sculpts. Um, but yeah, for the most part, even the, even the sort of the tooling on the sort of draped down parts on the side of the box are exactly the same. You can sort of see the sculpt with a little divot in it. So it's pretty much the same. And then they've sort of just tooled that differently, which, you know, for those sort of softer parts of plastic, the, I think I've mentioned in recent videos that they must be able to do them a little bit more budget friendly, do these sort of over the top. And that way, you know, particularly with figures like Black Series, they've got a lot of them almost have a base figure underneath, like a skeleton. And then they can do sort of alternate soft goods over the softer plastic over the top to give the figure a little bit of uniqueness. So I think that's what they've sort of done here. They've given that, that sort of softer plastic, which works. It looks good. Now I am loving the red tint on the on the visor there. That is fantastic. And these Vader's like this one included. This is the Dark Times one I've got back here. He's got a little bit of a red tint too, but it's not as not as much as this new one. And if we get the uh, the broken helmet one there, that's almost like a matte sort of look to it. That's a completely different sculpted helmet, but still. Yeah, these, this one is really, really nice. This is, yeah, I, I'm going to say it's the definitive New Hope Darth Vader. We come a long way. We'll, we'll compare with the, uh, the OG Vintage Collection Vader. We'll go through the articulation. He does have sort of a ball, a joint in the head. So you get a little good range of movement on the head does have the ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows, a good range of movement there. Ball hinges in the wrists, up and down on this one, up and down on that one, and I think it's the same for these extra hands, they've got an up and down hinge, and yeah, the pointing finger has an up and down hinge too, and of course the swivel in the joint there. So it does have waist articulation, there's a ball and socket joint in there, but you know, the belt and his... Arm um, piece sort of hinders that a little bit. Do have the barbell in the hips. That sort of ball and socket joint, which is, is really nice, to be honest. Better than those the old hinges. Uh, it still has the swivels in the upper thighs. Look at those calves. Look at those legs. Meaty thighs. <laughs> ball hinge in the knees. Ball hinges in the ankles. And then a swivel joint in the foot for the rocker. So you can get that sort of wide stances. Those power stances. So I do what I want to do is see if we can sort of get him in that sort of iconic sort of belt holding pose that he does in A New Hope. You can kind of just stand him on the shelf. Looks like he's just sort of playing with his knobs. Well, that sounded really bad, didn't it? So <laughs> he's, he's uh, yeah. I'm not even going to try and just, I'm not even going to try and correct myself. I know what I was trying to say. I know how it sounded. That didn't sound good. So yeah, we're going to do a peg test. I've got my uh, little black prototype this time. The uh, Kessel Run stands. These ones are sort of done with a black silk. So they do sort of make the print line sort of jump out a fair bit in comparison to the white. So the white's a white looks a little bit a little bit friendlier, but we are working on that. But I think I'm gonna stick with black because it's a uh, you know it's Vader. Come on. Peg test. There we go. That fits. You ain't going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. So that's cool. 
He looks good. He looks very, very good. I'm very impressed with this Vader. Let's uh, let's move some hands out of the way. Let's give him his his lightsaber. I'll do a little side by side. Here we've got the Dark Times. Very similar, but different enough. Then we have the Kenobi one. And then, actually, I will move those out of the way. And then we'll take a look at the previous New Ho version, which I've replaced the, the soft goods cape with a plastic one. And this guy is in my sort of Rogue One section. I do have another one of these with the soft goods. He is in my Tantive. So this guy sort of just, he's just hanging out. But you can sort of see the difference between the head sculpts of the two. Boy, have they come a long, long way. So you can see this New Hope version. He's got the, uh, got the sort of the chest robes over the top of the armor. He's a little bit dusty too. A little bit dusty. But yeah, no, nah, apples and oranges right here. But I still like that Vader, so he's, he'll still stay in my collection. He holds up, in my opinion, but phew, perfect. This new one, absolutely nailed it. I don't want to see any any Vaders go backward from here. <laughs> they can't. They can't possibly go backwards from here. It's just too good. If you want to be so, oh, is there a seam? No, the the one of them had a had a little hem in the side of the cape you could feed a wire in. But yeah, not this one. But that's good. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Let me know what you think of this Vader. Do you have it in your collection just yet? Sound out in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you again for some more toy reviews very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.